You do not need a savior. You do not need some higher being to save you. You, my friends, have it within yourselves to become your own savior, create your own salvation. There is, as my studies have found, an ancient mechanism inside each of our souls that prohibits us from giving into such courageous beliefs. It has been conditioned into the earliest generations of the human race and has yet to be fully identified. Until now. I ask of you, my brothers and sisters, to simply take action. Take action to open yourselves to change. Take action to save the soul of yourself and the souls of your brothers and sisters. Protect that. Protect their souls from any force that may harm them. Steph says you're doing well, are you? Am I what, sir? Doing well. Yes, sir. Very much so. You're not getting into any more violent outbursts, are you? No, sir. No more. Not since when I first got here. Good. All thanks to you, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. Thanks to you, Brian. You're the reason you've changed. You came to me, not me to you. You're your own savior here. Thank you, sir. Still attending your readings? Yes, sir. Every day at four? Yes, sir. Well, I, I admit, I, I missed one day last week, but I... <laughs> That's okay, Brian. Uh, truth be told, I missed mine yesterday. Well, well, yeah, but I mean, it's different for you, sir. You wrote these books. <laughs> Indeed, I did. Um, ready to start the test? Absolutely sure? I won't do it unless you're absolutely ready. I'm ready. With this test, you have to truthfully answer every question, no matter how personal. I'm ready, sir. Are you sure? There's no going back on this. Okay. Let's begin. Why did you agree to take the Omega test? Because I wanted to work for you, sir. Doing what? Anything. Anything to help you in what you started. Do you believe in the teachings we've implemented here? Absolutely. Tell me your name. Brian Day. Wrong. Tell me your name. I don't understand, sir. The one you had before you came to us. But I was told to never use that name. It's different for these meetings. Tell me your name. Marcus Howell. Who are your parents? Samantha Howell. Father? No father. Why no father? I don't know. I don't believe you. Tell me. He left us. How old were you? Less than a year. Why did he leave? I'm not sure. Your mother didn't tell you anything about this? No, she wouldn't even tell me his name. I think you know why he left. Tell me. I had found some letters in the basement. They were from my dad. Why did he leave, Brian? Because he didn't want me. Say it louder. He didn't want me. Louder. Own it. He didn't want louder. me. Louder. Accept it. Really accept he it. Didn't louder. Want Let it out. Don't run from he it. He didn't want me. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Have you ever had a girlfriend? Just one. What was her name? Lucy. Did you love her? No. I wasn't with her because I was lonely. Did you have sex with her? No. Did she want sex? Yes. Then why didn't you have sex with her? Because I was scared. How old were you? 17. Were you attracted to men? No, of course not. You sure? I'm positive. Then why do you want to have sex with Lucy? I don't know. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. She started touching me. And I closed my eyes and told her to stop. Was this your first sexual experience? No. When was your first? When I was seven. Explain. I, I had a piano instructor who used to give kids in our town after school lessons. Is he in jail? No. Why not? Because I was ashamed. Ashamed of what? How it felt. 
what others would say. What do you think they'd say? That I like it and that I'm broken. Are you broken? Yes. Say it again. Yes, I'm broken. How has this affected the way you feel about men? I don't like them. Is this why you have a history of fighting? Maybe. Is this why you have a history of starting unnecessary fights with men? I, I don't... Don't think about it. Just tell me. Yes, I think so. How do you feel about women? They scare me. Because... Because I know I'll disappoint. What's your name? Marcus Howell. Your real name? Brian Day. End of test. Have you, um, have you read my Growth of Man book yet? No, sir. Well, in it, I say that every man has two father figures. The first father figure would ideally be your biological father. This is the person that would help you teach you morals and ethics. Sadly, you don't have that. Society's ripped that from you, son. And Worse than that, every man that you looked up to has ended up hurting you. The second father figure would traditionally be somebody that would teach you a skill, that would help you navigate your way through the world. This would traditionally be a, a coach or a pastor or a master in an apprenticeship. That you have. I'm really proud of you, son. You've come to serve. You've come to be a part of something that's bigger than yourself. And you've proven that you care about your brothers and sisters here. I do, sir. That's why I need for you to do something for me. With what? There's a young journalist named Ben Knight. Mr. Knight has uh, written a report of sorts on our movement here. And he's decided to call us a, um, to call us a cult. What do you want me to do about it? Encourage him to change his opinion. I ask of you, my brothers and sisters, to simply take action. Take action to open yourself to change. Take action to save the soul of yourself and the souls of your brothers and sisters. Protect that. Protect their souls from any force that may harm them, no matter how radical. 